to Lucina. He has been working more and more on this Krom, while opting to go the Krom, uh, the Krom instead of Lucina first. And of course, we have Bowser coming up uh, with it as well. Marshall, uh, very much on a bit of the come up towards the tail end of the game. You know, he was always kind of on the cusp of gatekeeper area, but I like this. I like the improvements that he has been making in his overall play. Let's see what he can do with this yeah, brand Mar new Bowser. For sure, Marshall uh, definitely. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> One that you really shouldn't sleep on, to be honest, especially with a character such as, you know, as scary as Bowser. Exactly. This matchup is like, <laughs> who's going to die first? <laughs> because mm -hmm. yeah, you got Krom's impressive ability of all these hitboxes you can throw out, but Bowser can eat that. Like, okay, cool. I'll take and all this damage and then I'll grab you. And now we're back to even. If he gets caught with one hitbox, he's dead. All right, Koga backing off with a little bit of pressure out of shield with that side B. Not a lot of great out of uh, shield options oh, yeah, in this sure. game because of the new hit lag on there. But mm -hmm. Koga making it work. Ooh, catches him with the drag down there, but actually doesn't follow up. Counter is going to take it for the kill. Yeah, clean stock coming in from Koga. Actually trying to see how Marshall reacted at the ledge, and it worked accordingly for him. This back throw. Oh, actually mashing his way out of there, not taking the free back it, throw. He just for not caring, just forward smashing. Mm -hmm. Eat that, and... Marshall is Marshall's Marshall's starting to derail a little bit on the second stock here, but you know what? It's okay. This is a three stock meta. You could put this type of situation I love, out. I love three stocks for this reason. It's not really over anymore. He lose a sock. And there you go. At 96%, Bowser, being a heavy boy, definitely has a fair amount of rage at this point. Let's see if he can make this up. Yeah. You know, that was one of those situations where normally if you go off stage, you get punished for that. <laughs> oh, doesn't tech back in. That down tilt, the fact that it puts you into a tech J situation for Karam, I think that's more annoying than some of the <laughs> other things. But hey, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, so the Nair uh, pushing away that down air attempt as well. Going off stage, but doesn't Ooh, get punished for it. He tries to, you know, the thing is that Karam has no, has no hitbox on his upbeat. Mm -hmm. So that's what he tried to catch. But unfortunately, he caught him through the side. No hitbox which, on the way up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You, exactly. you go after it on the way down. Yeah, <laughs> so specify before before Twitter starts eating you alive. Oh, right, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? This is actually looking a lot better for nice him. Nice air dodge. And we are one apiece. 0-0. Zero, zero, showdown time. Oh, my goodness. What a great way to answer those previous two stocks. Catching him with the side B now. And now, all of a sudden, this is going in Marshall's way. But going to sure. get the tech chase, uh, the tech read in place. Mm -hmm. You know what? That side, B, that side B doesn't seem as, it doesn't seem as scary as before. Like, no. You get hit with it, you're like, ah. <laughs> exactly. You before, know, it's like, damn. Yeah, Dolphin's, I mean, um, Dancing Blade was so much more prominent, I think, in the last game. Tries to go for an attempt an air dodge read for a back air, but doesn't give to him is Koga. Now Koga trying to find his way back in. Reads, nice. but he actually falls off. Luck, luckily, too, because he actually read it at Marshall with attack. Mm -hmm. Marshall has no jump, and Koga knows this. He's dead. Koga can't get to him fast enough to be able no. to go for it, but wow. the mash was not far enough. What a great adaptation for Marshall was, on that last stop. That match stop, was so <laughs> unnecessarily high-paced. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm commentating. I'm like, what? These guys are going in. I'm so used to seeing Koga play a much more reserved play style that this <laughs> this crime is actually letting him explode in uh, a lot of the damage he normally wouldn't try to rack up yeah, unless no. he knows the defensive options incoming. Yeah, but yeah. Marshall it doesn't really care about that. All that range <laughs> is going to work just fine one, for one Bowser. And, it's like <laughs> and Bowser has the ability to run off stage with those fares exactly, to go yeah, after sure. Krom's uh, edge guard. Yeah. I mean, uh, Krom's recovery. So it but is I, something Koga has to worry about, but he never got put in that situation. But I do like what you said with Koga's Lucina and uh, him being Lucina and, and, you know, switching to Krom. The styles are very different. Mm -hmm. It goes from like, Lucina to Krom. <laughs> it's like it's it, 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 it this is man it hit is when he switched between the two of them. Uh, yeah, that too. But um, <laughs> you know, it definitely is like a more like aggra aggressive playstyle. Like he was, he was, he was going after. He was hunting down Marshall. You know? Yes, absolutely. You know, I like the I like the fact that he kept Marshall feeling. Uh, it backed up in the corner because you don't want these heavies who have gotten so much better with the three frame jump squad. Their oh, overall yeah, speed sure, increase. Sure. Bowser being able to contest you with yeah, uh, the, you don't the want armor frame he has. You don't want them feeling safe because when they feel safe, that's when you're in danger. <laughs> exactly. You know, you, once you let them get comfortable, things are not going to go well for you. But Koga's done a good job on his defense from avoiding a lot of the grabs and attempted hitboxes that Marshall's gone for, mm -hmm. except for that one. Yeah, that, that side B has like a has like a ninety percent like accuracy rate because yes. Marshall's doing that every time. It's but pretty, it's like very I said, fast. Like I said, it doesn't seem like as it doesn't seem like as dangerous as it seemed like before in Smash Four because before it was like oh my god that's that hurts now it's like. Hey. <laughs> 
I, I think I think it's just in comparison because there's so many other dangerous things in this game. Yeah, <laughs> and you know the fact that Bowser lost pretty much all of his uh, combo throw potential. He had to get buffed or at least changes in some regard. And the speed increase and all these new, new ways to confirm have really been working for him, but yeah, no, Marshall that... mostly racking up a majority of his damage off these side Bs. I'm telling you, bro, that's side Bs. He's not missing. Oh, wow, that down tilt still being a great tool. That's why we save your jumps. And also, something that might have gone unnoticed to some, in the in, back in the blast zone, Koga did throw out an air dodge to be able to make his okay, way okay, back because he wouldn't have so lived dangerous. before. Yes, that was definitely going to kill. <laughs> What was it saying with the... Um, Koga sorry. used the air dodge off the stage. A lot of people don't remember to use their directional air dodge to make it back. Yeah, because he did so that, important, yeah. he was able to still use his jump and get back where he would have died otherwise. No, yeah, for sure. And that's that's something that, that, that being a great addition to this game. Nice counter off stage. Is he, ooh. Yeah, no, there's Koga, not a lot of aerial drift be on careful, the ether bro. from Krom. So he, he, that, that is a situation where you can SD uh, if you get delayed going down there. But luckily, it did it for Koga. Ooh! Oh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow, wow. But you know, that, we got that, hitbox, <laughs> that hip, the, the wind box literally hit him. You know what's great? The fact that he threw out and did all those strings, Marshall's hit him twice, and he has, he, actually, he was oh able God, to rack yeah, up the same yeah. amount of damage you're, that he gave him. You're actually really, you're actually breath. Like, this is insane. <laughs> Marshall trying to go for the F tilt uh, on the way back down the trade with him, but the side B is going to potentially take it out, not just yet, though. All right, trying to edge guard, actually, from recovering high. Oh, 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 he's trying to get nasty. Oh, and he was, he, as you saw, Marshall tried to go after uh, the ether to potentially, hopefully, if he went too high, tech back on stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, just punishing with the dancing blade, okay? I yo, thought he was going to, like, yeah. charge. That's why I was like, ah. Bowser just showing off his stuff to Krom, man. Just, uh, just like, yo, yo, you see that? All right, real talk. <laughs> Marshall has literally killed, gotten damage and killed via side B alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if uh, Koga's going to keep getting so caught right. by it. You're so right. Koga reading the jump yet again. This is a bad situation for Marshall. He's not been able to really deal with these ledge traps oh. that Koga's been hey. putting out. He's panic. He's panic air. He's panic jumping. Mm -hmm. You know what? Uh, some people panic air dodge. Yeah. There's also panic jumping. Oh, light nice. turn around up till. I was just about to say the dash cancel up till uh, yeah. the reversal as well. And that's one of the good things about being able to you know just act out of uh, dash now. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Oh, yeah, and he did it again with that up tilt there. Yeah. Oh, that down, Ooh, that down tilt. He can clip it. Oh, that, the yeah, see, he air dodge again, but he got no, two framed, in. so the recovery will not give him the jump back. Good adaptation from Marshall For there sure. to get the edge guard at the end. That was crazy. That was crazy. Like, I, I, I genuinely thought Koga had that match, but... Absolutely, and then the don't parry as well to make sure he got it. If he didn't get that parry, he would have made it back. That parry was cute. I was like, okay, okay, I see you. I said, you know, <laughs> we, were, I, we were talking about the parries before. I was saying I have, I had faith in trying to stay number one. You guys got buried. I haven't seen a whole lot out of Koga because he hasn't given an opportunity to do so because he keeps getting these grabbed by side Bs. And now we we're going to see the tried and true. He's going to swap to Lucina. When in doubt, go your main. Absolutely. And I'm wondering if he's actually going to stay on PS2. He did. Okay. You know, the stage has been working out fine for him with the Krom. I was figuring maybe he might go for a little bit of a smaller stage to continue to harass a lot of the tech chases because Marshall really hasn't won in a lot of these defensive situations. No, yeah, However, sure. they, you know what? They, when you're going to get a clean to zero to death. death off of that because of no, a little bit too far from that upbeat, we'll take it every time. Yeah, no. And, um, you know, notice, like, you know, Koga not being so so aggressive as he mm. was with Krom. Maybe he thought that Krom provided some sort of situ some sort of advantage mm. and maybe the fact, you know, his power. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as the fact that I think Koga just wanted to eliminate the fact that Marshall caught on how to, uh, like, abuse his recovery. He's like, you know what? He parried that. He knew where the gap was. I'm not trying to give him that again. I'll just go for Dolphin Slash instead. It's much safer. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's now, gonna be now going with Lucina, it's it's definitely such a huge change here. He, he's playing more, he's playing more confidently. He's spacing. Ooh, and the side B actually getting connect. Oh, he actually oh, burned um, his double jump. I, guess. I don't know if he got caught trying to jump away from that side B. That could have potentially oh, been it. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think that he had it. Nope. You know what? But he just he did free fall to death, just like Marshall did there. And all of a sudden, Koga again zero to. 
a 0% lead on a previous stock. Marshall was able to run it back before. Yeah, and, and this is why people love the scene in this game. She's so she she has gotten infinitely buffed yeah, by the new engine and the, like and just her character itself. And you know, Coca also getting these combos. That, you, know, you see Krom going for these falling up airs off the platforms a lot. He went for some himself. Doesn't get the F smash, just barely misses it. But look so, at that's oh! oh! And that's all she wrote. That's gonna be a two-one for Koga over Marshall catching Oh, him. can we get a replay on that <laughs> Yes, one? absolutely. Oh my God. Can we see it again? Look at that. I won. As you see right there, too, every time he Go went in, you. he's shielded immediately after Koga recognizing that. Go you can't on. hold your shield against me too much, and that's going to be it. Very, very solid gameplay from Marshall at the end. But Koga ah. taking out to the bank every time.